a guy that will probably end up in the playoffs, though I don't know if his team should because I do believe that if you are an under 500 divisional winner, as it does feel like Tampa might end up being, now they could get to nine and eight. Or, but if you go eight and nine, you shouldn't be, a, you shouldn't host a playoff game. If you go eight and nine and the Cowboys are 12 and five, the Cowboys should host that game. I'm a big believer in that, but that's not the way it works right now. If you watch the Niner game, Tom Brady got thoroughly outplayed by Brock Purdy, Mr. Relevant. Honestly, if you didn't know anything about football and I just brought you da- back from outer space, and you had been gone for decades, and you just watched that game, you would think the little guy in the Niners was dramatically better than Tom Brady. And one story this morning, because there's some buzz in the world that I live in about Tom Brady coming home to the Niners. I don't believe that. And I'm not saying that after Brock Purdy has a good game. I just don't believe they passed on him four years ago. Now, obviously, they regretted that. But now he's 46. He is looking very pedestrian. He does not fit Kyle Shanahan's offense, as crazy as that sounds. He can't move. And a huge part of the Shanahan offense is boots, naked, nakeds, waggles. His offense has been very, very similar for his entire 20-year career. And he had a lot of success with an individual who's now with the Raiders in Vegas. And the story this morning was he will keep his options open, could retire, but will also kind of look around. And the Raiders are in shambles. They're 5-8. and eight. They, If anyone's been to Vegas in the last couple of years, that place is sweet. It's a palace. It's... It's Sin City. It's Las Vegas. It's where a lot of stars have gone historically to finish their career. Have you watched the Elvis movie? That's where he was. Frank Sinatra, Celine Dion, she got the stiff neck. That's where she finished her career. It's where a lot of super famous people go to kind of ride off into the sunset. And in this day and age, when you go, well, Tom Brady is not going to want to retire. He's single. He looks miserable with Tampa. He's screaming at Mike Evans all the time, which is a little bizarre. It's like, Tom, you just overthrew Mike Evans, who's like six foot four. You airmailed him. It wasn't even close. And you're screaming at him. No, I get it. Tom's not used to losing. This is going to be, if they lose eight or nine games, it'll be by far the worst season Tom Brady has ever had in the NFL, really since that second year they started. I think they went nine and seven. If they go eight and nine, I mean, that is, that's an unheard of, unprecedented season for Tom. He's just not used to losing these amount of games. He feels like he's mentally breaking. Wife left him, even though, like I've said, who like it could be the equivalent of Tom leaving his wife as well. Maybe he doesn't even like her. But the point is, Tom's not in a good space mentally. Mark Davis is going to be desperate because that franchise feels lifeless. And it's in Vegas. They need some pizzazz. Josh McDaniels, things are not going well. Mark Davis wanted them to sign Tom Brady years ago. John Gruden wouldn't. Dana White told the story on the Manning cast. Well, now, four years later, what if he gets his chance to get him again? And now it makes a lot more sense because unlike Kyle Shanahan, who asks his quarterback to move, as you saw with Brock Purdy, he can scramble. I'm not talking like Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, but just sprint left, sprint right, and throw the ball. Brady's incapable of doing that. But Josh McDaniels and that offense, they literally created it together. So Josh McDaniels has to question Derek Carr. Because they traded for Devontae Adams. You know, Max Crosby's played well. And Derek has just been a roller coaster ride this year. And it's not his guy. And how many different coaches is Derek going to survive? And I was told last year, Mark Davis has never been the biggest fan of Derek. Now, his coaches, obviously John Gruden was a big believer in him. Same with Jack Del Rio. So they've rolled with it. And Josh McDaniels, there weren't, Tom Brady wasn't available. So they kind of doubled down. But when you look at Derek's contract, It ain't Aaron Rodgers. It ain't Kyler Murray. They could easily pivot out of that. And because of so many teams in the NFL need quarterbacks, they could easily flip them. So to me, Tom Brady, on like a one-year deal, as they figure it out, gets back with Josh. They run the offense that he's comfortable running. They speak the same language. And it's in Vegas where, like I said, a lot of stars go to kind of ride off into the sunset. That, to me, makes the most sense. If you tell me Tom Brady is on a different team and doesn't retire next year, My prediction would be the Las Vegas Raiders.